everybody, I'm Laura and I'm a marine science educator here at the Smithsonian Marine Ecosystem Exhibit, San Jose County Aquarium. Today we're going to be talking about one of these animals in our touch tank for our bio bit and that's our spotted sea hares. So I don't know if you can see this animal right here in front of me. We've also got another one crawling around here somewhere in the tank over here, yes. Um, but these are a marine gastropod. They're also commonly called a sea slug. Um, their shell is internal and it's, it's vestigial, which means it's not really as present anymore as it would be in some of our marine snails that we have in our touch tank. There's a couple different species of these sea slugs. Um, these kind in particular like to crawl along on the bottom using their muscular foot, but some of the other species have flaps that you'll see them using to swim. These guys can be found in our seagrass habitats and they love to feed on algae in particular. Okay, I'm going to see if I can give this guy a little bit of our ova, a sea lettuce. I'm going to put it right in front of him, let him smell it. Tasty snack? So right there in the middle is his mouth. There he goes. And it's incredible how quickly they'll eat. Eat up the sea lettuce. This structure underneath, you can see, is his muscular foot. Just like the slugs you find in your garden, these animals are herbivores, so they eat only plants and algae. Another really interesting fact about them is that when a predator, if a predator were to grab them to try and make a tasty meal out of them, these guys can create a very nasty kind of pinky purple ink. Um, very special for them to do so, so we're not going to make this one ink today, but just want to let you know that that's one of their um, chemical defenses. One of my favorite facts about these guys is that they are simultaneously hermaphroditic, so they can be both they are both male and female at the same time. They have both sex organs. Um, and when they mate, the one will act as the male and one will act as the female, and the female will end up laying the eggs. Um, they can take turns and they can both inseminate one another. Um, a really fun fact about them, not many animals in the animal kingdom can do this. So thanks for joining us for another bio bit. Stay tuned for the next one.